All right, so you're in BuzzTouch and you're about to download your package. You want to submit it to the App Store. How do you do it? It's a very complicated process. Um, I'm going to walk you through it so that you've got a bit of an idea. First thing you need to do is sign in using your um, developer account so that you can access the provisioning portal. Um, and I'll do that now. From here, you need to go to the provisioning portal and you get access to all the things that you need to do to develop a certificate and so on so that you can submit your app. Um, the very first thing you need to do is select and create an app ID. Now an app ID is a unique identification number that's used by Apple to pinpoint your app um, on the market and it's unique to your app and your app only. Now to help set that, once you've downloaded your files you need to open them up into Xcode and click on this button little icon here and it will bring up this summary information. You can see that mine is called com.therulebook.com now I don't want it to be called that it'll be called com.thepegeek.sportsrule actually not sports rules rulebook and I'm going to copy that so that I can go away and use it for a minute. Now I'm going to use it to create my app ID with that identifier and I'll go new app and my description here will be uh, a common name. Now that's going to be the rule book and my bundle ID which is what I just copied before I'm pasting in and it's com.thepeergeek.rulebook uh, and I hit submit. Now that's going to create a unique app ID um, for me to use and you can see if I look through here there it is there um, and we're now ready to move on to the next step. From here you click on provisioning and we want to create a distribution or click the distribution tab and we want to create a new profile and this is where you get the choice an app store distribution method or ad hoc now if you want to put it on your device and test it you need to do ad hoc otherwise you need to do app store now I'm creating for the app store at the moment so I'm going to call it um, the rulebook app store that way I know this is the profile for the app store now I select the Apple ID that I want to use or oh, sorry the app ID and you remember I called it rulebook before and I hit submit now that's going to produce a provisioning profile that I can use to publish that app. Now go down here and you'll see there it is. Hit download and it's going to download that provisioning portal, provisioning profile and you can see there it is right there. From here what you need to do is drag your provisioning profile into your iTunes library like I've got now and let go and I usually do it twice because the second time it'll tell me if it's been done because it wants to replace it and I just hit replace don't need to do that but I just do it just so I know that it's actually in there minimize iTunes now it's time to actually publish your app now if you go back into Xcode and click on you're in the same menu where you were before click on build settings and you'll get this menu up here that says code signing now what we need to do is we need to click that and we need to find the provisioning profile that we just created um, called rulebook. I might need to actually go out of Xcode and come back into it so that it's there. Um, go into build settings, click on code signing and hey it's not there. Track the viewer of fitness tests. Other, maybe it's in that side. No, that's not it. Now I know what I've done. Back in the provisioning portal, I downloaded the wrong provisioning portal. I need to download the rulebook app store profile. Um, I click and downloaded step test, which is an older app. So make sure you download the right one first. Open it up. And if you remember this step from before, drag it into your iTunes library. I usually do it twice and then I know it's definitely in there and minimize it and go back into Xcode now when I select this drop down I should be able to see the rulebook app store provisioning profile and I click it 
and I go through here and for every one I change it to utilize the rulebook app store provisioning profile that we made before and this is how you actually create your app um, so that it's assigned to your certificate and so on um, complicated I don't know the full reason why we do it but this is how you do it now now you've done that you can actually go about archiving your app and, and so you can submit it to iTunes to do that you need to change the schema at the top um, to iOS device and go product and hit archive and this is going to use that code and your certificate to build and archive your application and your archive is what you actually submit to Apple um, and that's what you download essentially it's the actual software files now I'll just pause it now uh, and resume it when it's finished doing the compiling process now somewhere during the process you'll get asked whether you want to use your private key click allow um, and it will finish off the compiling it says build succeeded that's always a positive thing it's going to open up the organizer now which is what you can see right in front of you and essentially you've created and archived your app now it says the date there from this point you'll need to go into iTunes connect which is where you manage applications so I'll go there now um, quickly log in and show you what would you would need to do to develop and set up your app go into manage applications and in here you would go add new app and follow the process to you at the point where you're ready to upload what's called your binary now back in the organizer once you've you've hit the button that says ready to upload binary um, you can actually then submit it and it's a simple process hit the submit button and it will ask you to allow again this is going to type in your Apple ID and establish a connection to the server if it's all ready to go it will submit and that's essentially how you submit your application uh, at the moment I'm not going to do that because I'm not ready to submit an application to to Apple so that's essentially the process for um, archiving your application creating your mobile provisioning profile it's exactly the same if you just want to put it onto your device except rather than um, actually pressing App Store distribution method you press ad hoc and at this point rather than pressing submit you would press share and you would save the actual software file to your desktop um, for example and drag it into iTunes and that's how you would get it to your device um, so hopefully you've got a bit of an idea now of how to do it and you can get your own apps off BuzzTouch and up onto the Apple Store